The oil tank is situated on Gadigal land at the edge of Woolloomooloo Bay. The history of this site is one of change and transformation from bushland to World War II oil tank to gallery space. The oil tank was decommissioned in the 1980s, decontaminated in the 1990s, and then lay dormant until 2017 when the gallery took over the space. When the gallery first had access to the oil tanks, they were filled up to about one and a half to two metres of water. The first step was really to drain that water out of the tank. There were tree roots in one corner of the room that created this amazing sculptural form with roots spreading out across the floor. And then as the water level receded, the tree roots followed the puddle and kept growing into the space. Everyone who visited the oil tank was overwhelmed by the amazing character and quality of the space, the post-industrial appearance and energy of the tank, the sound reverberation. It ceased to become a space that was about, can we hang this painting on this wall, and turned into a space that was about the amazing creative possibilities. I, I try to paint him no matter whether it is in the middle of the night or what time. There were so many aspects of preparing the space that we had to consider how to prepare the room to make it feasible to work as a gallery. So we needed electricity, we needed sound systems, we needed PowerPoints. So that meant really thinking quite carefully about what we would need to change to make it functional and safe and usable, while at the same time changing as little as possible. The challenge in using this space as a gallery is that it's also a heritage site. That means things like the patina on the walls, which are streaked with rust and corrosion and oil stains. That's an integral part of what we want to keep. The conservation team have been very involved in documentation of the tank, on doing testing in the space so that we understand as much as possible about how the walls react to different situations. Part of the documentation of this space that the conservation team have been working on has included keeping things like damp maps of all the walls. We also have maps of the oil stains on the walls and of other accretions and patterns. That's important for us because the staining and patterns on the walls could impact what's possible for the art project. So we have specific rules about how we can use the walls and to what extent we will and won't drill holes in the walls. But we needed in this space to think about the living nature of the tank and the fact that any changes we made to turn it into a tightly controlled museum space would inevitably mean that we lost the special heritage character of this site. Being so different to a normal white cube gallery space was this opportunity to think differently about how we do exhibitions. <laughs>